Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I know it's not Tuesday, but I got a tech video for you guys anyway. I'm sorry I missed a little bit of the uh, Tech Tuesdays. I'm trying to get caught back up. Things have been a little crazy here lately. So uh, I figured I'd answer one of the uh, the questions I've seen quite a bit uh, uh, lately, and it's uh, what that panel is that we're always messing with in the center of the, uh, of the glare shield. This one right here. This is called the flight guidance panel. Some airplanes call it the mode control panel. I'm sure it has a thousand other terms, but basically this controls the uh, flight director, which in turn controls the uh, autopilot. So this is the one we use to set all the functions as we're flying along. So I figured I'd give you guys a close up view of it and let you guys see what it looks like and what all those buttons are for. If we start over here on the outside, this is the uh, the course knob. There's also one over here on the uh, on the far right because we have one for the right seat, one for the left seat. They work exactly the same, just on the uh, on their respective seats. Whenever we need to set in a given course for an ILS or for a, uh, a VOR, anything like that, we're going to use this course knob to, to turn it, and we'll get the course over on our PFDs. If we need to go directly to a VOR, if we have the frequency set for it, we can hit that sync button right in the middle. It'll take us straight to the VOR. We don't have to turn the knob or anything. Kind of a handy little function. Up here in the top left, this is the auto throttle arm button. You guys have seen us mess with that one uh, quite a bit, and we've talked about it a little while. Uh, that cannot, the auto throttles cannot work unless that uh, arm button is on. One of the, uh, the big fail safes of the system. If the auto throttles go crazy, you can always just punch that real quick, and it will shut the auto throttles off. Below that is the manual speed button. We use that one quite a bit, especially after uh, takeoff. The FMS knows how fast we're supposed to go at any given time, but if we decide that we don't want to go quite that fast, or we want to go faster or something like that, we can hit the manual speed button and use this knob and our speed will be in there so that we can set whatever speed we want. IAS Mach, uh, that is the transition button. The airplane knows how to transition the, uh, the airspeed from indicated airspeed to Mach at around 30,000 feet, and it does it on its own perfectly fine. But sometimes we need to do that transition a little earlier or something like that. So if we hit that, we can manually switch from indicated airspeed over to Mach speed. And again, we would just use the, uh, the speed knob to control whatever speed we want to set in there. Moving up here, we get the LNAV button. That's lateral navigation. Anything with a left and right navigation, usually it's going to be GPS or ILS or, or I, sh I should say a localizer uh, or a VOR, something like that is going to be on the LNAV button. So basically coming out of the FMS essentially is going to have that or potentially the VOR directly. Below that is VNAV or vertical navigation. So anything uh, on, the, uh, on the vertical side we can set in here. We don't use this a whole lot with this airplane. It can be used very well for like a GPS approach or a lot of times uh, ATC will assign a particular altitude for us to cross on the descent or on the climb. They may say cross a given fix at 10,000 feet. We can put the FMS 10,000 feet at that fix, hit VNAV, and it'll take us straight to it. Super convenient. Below that, this one we use quite a bit. You guys hear this one almost on every flight. Uh, you hear us call for felch mode or flight level change uh, is what it stands for. And that one we use regularly. What that does is if you're climbing, the airplane will go to full power mode and it will just pitch to maintain whatever speed is in this window. So if it's a little bit fast, it will just uh, pitch, uh, uh, pitch up just a little bit to slow down. If it's a little slow, it'll pitch down to speed up, something like that. It's always going to be at either full power or idle power. Moving over the heading select mode, essentially this one or the LNAV will be selected at all times. There, there aren't too many times when we're going to have something, one of those not selected. The approach mode will be one of those cases, but uh, not, too, not too often. Uh, heading mode, if we just select that, you can manually select whatever heading you want. A lot of times ATC will tell us turn left heading 340. We'll just go manual heading, set in 340, which would be displayed in that window, and bada bing, the airplane goes right there. If we need to sync up our heading to whatever we're on right now, you just hit sync, and it syncs up to whatever your current heading is. Uh, approach mode, like I said, if a lot of times, the only times we're not going to really need that is on approach or back course mode. Uh, when we're doing an ILS, we will arm approach mode and it will follow the ILS really well. Back course is just the, the back course button. Very seldom do we need the back course uh, anymore. Used to be a lot more common, uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago to shoot back course approaches, but everywhere is getting either ILSs or GPS approaches, so not too often we need the back course. The bank, that, will gives, a, that gives us a, what's called a half bank mode. The airplane does a really good job of doing a standard rate turn, but at higher altitudes, we don't want to use quite that much bank. So sometimes we'll go into bank, uh, half bank mode. And in fact, when you go up to, uh, to the 30s or, or higher, uh, it automatically defaults to a half bank mode. Uh, this is the vertical speed mode. Whenever we're climbing or descending, we'll hit vertical speed, and you can set your vertical speed in feet per minute. 
the other option for it would be the Felch mode. Those are the two most common uh, climbing and descent modes, VNAV being another one, of course. PFD command, this one will switch from the left to the right seat. There'll be a little L or a little R in there, depending on which seat is flying. You're gonna use that to tell the airplane which seat is uh, controlling the airplane. AP, autopilot button, that's one of our favorite ones. We use that on almost every flight. Uh, when we turn the autopilot on, push that, comes right on. And then finally over here, the altitude. This one you see is set quite a bit. Our altitude uh, select window will have a altitude all the time in it. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's where we're gonna be climbing or descending to or holding. If we're holding that altitude, the altitude hold button will be on. If we're climbing, all of a sudden ATC calls up and says, maintain your current altitude, you can just punch that button and it will hold whatever altitude we're currently at. Super convenient little button as well. And uh, again, if we're in cruise flight, that will all always be on pretty much. So uh, yeah. That's about it. That's the uh, flight guidance panel on the G4. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, easy to use. Um, they've developed it over the years and it's gotten a little bit better on the 5, 550, 6, uh, and so on. So, uh, but yeah, for the G4, that's what we have. So hopefully you guys learned a little something. Give me the thumbs up, like, subscribe, leave some comments, whatever you guys wanna do. And we'll see you guys on the next tech video. Keep living the corporate pilot life.